Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Um, pardon my appearance, if you will. Uh, it's been a long day, um, but I wanted to just let you guys know I have a couple of really super cute Easter uh, crafts that I would like to share with you. Um, so I'm not going to make this long. Let's just get into it. So for this first project, I'm going to make a really super cute um, egg and carrot uh, piece of decor. Um, so right here, I am um, just going to paint um, this little plank that I got from uh, the big bag of assorted um, shapes from the Dollar Tree. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's one of the long planks um, and I'm just giving it a quick coat of uh, orange paint from um, Americana, I believe it is. Um, and then I um, feel like it's too bright. So I sort of just go over it with um, a quick coat of the Waverly White chalk paint just to kind of tone it down a bit. Oops, just kidding. It's not the Waverly White chalk paint. Um, I took some of the uh, White Americana acrylic paint um, and just went over it um, to tone it down. So then I take the uh, little dish um, that I found in the garden section where the fairy garden um, pieces are and I am going to give that two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in white. So here I'm staring at the vinyl because I uh, cut out some words on the Cricut and uh, realized that the vinyl was too short and the bottom words uh, got cut off. So I had to go and uh, just cut out um, just the bottom section for the sign. So now I'm just going to take the transfer paper and I'm going to uh, line up the wording um, and try to center it as best I can. Mm -hmm. 
Then I decided that I would add some of the beads that I got off of Amazon. I will link the description below. Um, and I painted the back and the beads um, orange so that I could put this either on a shelf or a tiered tray and uh, the back wouldn't show. And as you can see, I added some of the moss from the Dollar Tree. I just put some hot glue down. Um, I'm not quite sure where the footage went for that, but anyway, um, so there's hot glue and then I just covered it with moss. And now you can see that I'm just adding some extra glue in the back just to uh, reinforce everything um, so that the sign doesn't fall over. Then I just take some of these cute little eggs um, that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're like a styrofoam. Um, and I obviously pull all of the hangers out because I won't be needing those. Um, and I just, um, just take a few of them and uh, hot glue them onto the moss. And then I take uh, some of the carrots and I add those to the little dish and um, the sign. And of course, as you can see here, I didn't let the sign dry completely and got orange paint all over my hand. Anyway, uh, here is the finished project. I think it came out so adorable. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And for this next project, I'm going to make an oh so cute uh, wreath with um, the wooden bunny and um, the car uh, cloth that I got at Dollar Tree. So I just lay the cloth out flat um, and then I take some of the spray adhesive that I got at uh, Dollar Tree and I uh, give that a quick spray and then I just go around the edges with the hot glue gun. So once I get that all glued down, um, I take my scissors and try to cut through the cloth, uh, but that wasn't working out so well for me. Uh, so I took the uh, fabric cutting tool from Cricut and just kind of rolled over and um, just cut it through. And good grief, I thought that I think that was the hardest part of the entire project. Anyway, um, so then I go ahead and just take my scissors and um, just kind of cut off the uh, excess as much as I can. Now I'm just going to run some hot glue um, around the edges and fold the edges of the cloth um, over um, just to um, make sure everything is nice and tight on the front part of the bunny. And 
this is what it'll look like um, when you're done with that part. Uh, then I found this cute little uh, bunny tail um, at the Dollar Tree and it has a little clip on the back. I was gonna take it off, um, but then I decided that I was just going to clip it onto um, the bottom of the bunny. Um, and then I just took some hot glue and kind of glued it into place. Um, so that it didn't end up falling off on me. And just kind of reinforced it um, in the back as well. Then I take this uh, floral foam um, ring that I got at uh, Dollar Tree as well and I'm gonna cut off um, a piece of it and um, cut it in half um, so that I can put the ring in between the two pieces. Um, it'll all make sense in just a minute. Um, I think I saw uh, Sammy at uh, Unicorn Dust Design doing this. I believe it was her. Anyway, I thought it was a really great idea, so I figured I would try it. I do have to tell you, it was a little bit difficult getting that knife through, uh, but um, you know, I, I managed it in the end. <laughs> and then I just took the hot glue and I put a very generous, generous amount on there, probably way more than I actually needed. Um, you'll see in a little bit that it kind of oozes out the side a little, um, but I'm able to just kind of peel it off and um, you in the end don't see it. Um, so then I take some of the floral wire and I'm just going to wrap a couple pieces around to try to um, hold it together in case the hot glue fails for whatever reason. Once I was done peeling all of the excess hot glue that was oozing out everywhere, um, I took some of this um, box with greenery uh, that I got from Amazon, which I will link below, and I just start cutting pieces off um, until I um, get enough to cover the bottom section of the foam. So once I feel like I have enough of the greenery, I take some of these beautiful white lilacs from the Dollar Tree, um, which by the way, lilacs happen to be my favorite flower, just in case anybody wanted to know. <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, I get my wire cutters and um, just you know, cut these a little shorter and start poking them into the foam. Um, I also end up using some of the uh, purple lavender bunches. Um, I use the dark purple and the light purple, and then I end up using a little bit of uh, baby's breath as well.
Now that I'm happy with uh, the amount of florals I have, um, I take the bunny and uh, line him up. And then I just take some hot glue to the back um, to glue the ring right to the wooden side, or actually the bunny to the, the ring. Okay, so I thought I already added the baby's breath, but apparently not. Um, so anyway, here I am taking um, just a couple pieces and I'm going to add that to the floral. And then I am going to just take my hot glue gun and just put a little bit on the bunny's little backside um, just <laughs> to glue it to the floral flowers um, just to give it a little more stability um, so he doesn't come flying off. And then I was kind of looking at it and saw that, you know, you could really see the foam um, quite a bit from below. So here I'm just taking some moss um, with the uh, hot glue gun and just uh, gluing a little bit um, on the bottom just to kind of hide the foam. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and give it a little bit of a haircut. So I'm not really sure what happened to me the past couple of days, but I lost quite a bit of footage. Um, so I did put a couple of little ribbons in her, on her ear um, and a bow at the bottom. And then I took um, that same ribbon and made a hanger. Um, but here she is. I think she's so adorable. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please please give it a big thumbs up it'll help my channel um, to grow and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and share it with all your friends and family and um, I will see you next time bye